Hi there, namaste, and welcome back to another spiritualistic pick a card reading. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for being here and let you know that you are loved. Today I'm channeling a message to you from Sirius. So please take a deep breath, drawing the energy up your spine, creating a clear and open channel. And as you exhale, allow yourself to come into clear knowing which group or groups has your message in it for you today from Sirius. We have group number one on the left with escaping the matrix. Group number two in the center with feet on the earth. And group number three on the right with finder of lost things. As always, your timestamps will be listed down in the description box below, as well as information about receiving personal readings from me, Reiki sessions, my follow your heart and light codes oracle deck, and the books and journals that I've written, as well as the crystal jewelry that I make, and lots of other little goodies that I put on there from time to time. So, thank you so very much for being here. Don't forget to check out my Etsy shop and any other reading that might resonate with you. I will see you at your reading. Namaste. Hi there, group one. Namaste, and welcome to your reading. Today I'm channeling a message to you from Sirius, and you selected the first group with the Escaping the Matrix card. Sirius is aware that you have been listening when your intuition tells you how to move. Your intuition is very, very strong, if you even call it intuition at this point. You are aware of the great communication between yourself and Great Spirit, and you're also aware of the lack of separation between the two. With this, you seem to have an altruistic and also a bit different perspective of all that is from what has been around you for a while. Sirius has been guiding you through a longer transition period, one that may have felt like you were in the in-between. Where you're aware that great change is coming, you are stepping into new situations and old situations and on the precipice of what might feel like a, a treadmill, where you have to continue putting one foot in front of the other or else you might slip and fall. Also aware of the fact that this is not really truly the case because you cannot slip and fall as long as you are doing what it is that you have been called to do. Again, Sirius has been guiding you for a long time helping you to cross your T's and dot your I's in certain areas of life and helping you breach into a new chapter of your life. This is something that you are still emerging into and trust that this longer term transitional period has been an opportunity for you to cross T's and dot I's in your own life and when it comes to the spiritual journey of not only yourself but others as well. Because you have a bit of an external perspective to the world at large, because you are so tapped in and tuned in with spirit, Sirius would like to step in today and let you know that just as you answer the calling that you receive, and it takes a lot to hear a calling, respond to a calling, acknowledge it, and then act upon it, it is easy for one to get lost along the way. However, this is not something you've ever done. Because of this, Sirius wants you to have an ask, make a wish, and trust that instead of being guided perhaps towards what you want or perhaps towards what is meant for you, all you need to do is ask and you shall receive. Okay, messages please. From Sirius to group number one. You've closed out a chapter of allowing yourself to tap in with illusion because it may have been more comfortable than truth. You've always known this truth. You've always known the truths around you. But Sirius wants you to know that just because some truths are harder to look at sometimes and easier to look at other times, although you may be looking at the same truth, it is this escaping of the matrix. It is only those T's that needed to be crossed, those I's that needed to be dotted, which are the reasons why you might look at an I and think it could be an L, or look at a T and think it could be an L. When in reality, none of this is true and you already knew it. And with that being said, we spell the word T, which means you. You are aware that everything is you. Everything is a reflection of inner you. And you're also aware that you have been led towards what is going to make you happy. Although, you are also aware that you have not been working alone towards this. All the energies you've been working with at this time are coming to the forefront in order to ask you what you want. Not because you don't know, 
not because you haven't been heading towards it, but because they're showing me in the never ending story at the end where he, um, the little boy is asked, Sebastian, I think is asked to um, proclaim the name of the Empress. And he knew what it was all along, but he needed to say it out loud. So here we have this illusion with an A, illusion coming to the forefront. And this element of stepping outside of time, stepping outside of separation consciousness, stepping outside of the illusion of time, the illusion of space, and trusting that everything is as it should be. Sirius wants you to know that you are aware of what it is that you have decided to do with your life, and you're also aware of the fact that you have decided to assist others and have them assist you on the way there. Because although this may feel as though it's carrying extra weight or burden for you, you are making a larger impact while you are here. You chose the heavy, slow path instead of the fast, short path. And this not only made a difference, but it also solidifies your perspective and your level of consciousness each time you get there, as opposed to waxing and waning in and out like the moon or other beings that you might see. Sirius is aware that you have been holding onto a high vibrational level of consciousness for a long time, waiting for others to be ready to understand, waiting for others to catch up, waiting for an opportunity for you to feel like where you are in consciousness is normalized without needing to dilute yourself in order to feel normalized or do the work for others or teach them in order for them to be at a place where they can feel normalized around you. This is a decision that you've made, but it's also one that has hurt you for a while. You're also becoming aware of the fact, well, you did not ever not know this, but you are aware of the fact that the reason that you chose to move so slowly is because these decisions that you make in life, they are permanent. And when you are making permanent decisions like this, there is not time, there is not, well, the, there is not the illusion of time in general, which is why you choose permanent paths. But the inner knowing, the spiritual ability, the permanent shifts, these are not ones that succumb to the roller coaster of human emotions, the confusion of thoughts, the illusion of time, the illusion of space. And because of this, while you've always known that a rebirth and luck is on your side, you've also always known that there are certain spiritual gifts and abilities that you need to temper out when it comes to the way that you portray them to others. And this is something that has allowed you to wear your heart on your sleeve and also feel misunderstood for a long time. Sirius wants you to know that this period of feeling misunderstood is coming to an end as there's a mass awakening in collective consciousness. And you're going to be receiving the benefits of the external work that you've been doing. Your internal work has been made very apparent, although it was misunderstood that the external work that you've been doing which has been guided by Sirius, is now being shown as making perfect sense. Because of this, it's going to be shown why you've been put in a position of authority. It's going to be shown why you have been gifted with certain skills and abilities and understandings. And it's going to show the amount of patience and the amount of love that it really, really takes in order to be in the position that you have been in for a while. We see this mothering energy here, this nurturing energy, but it's a bit more hands-off. It's a bit more trusting that the universe takes care of the universe, and you are the universe, and so is the rest of the universe. Therefore, whatever you choose to take accountability for is your own. Whatever you do not is not, because you are always the one taking care of it, regardless of which body you are in. Allowing this to be the case, Sirius does want to remind you that you are not going to be alone for much longer when it comes to your level of awareness. Now, there's a reason why you've been set apart from the rest. And it is because you've been maneuvering outside of the matrix, outside of the illusion of time and space for a very long time. You are feeling more connected with your ears, more connected with your ears than your eyes, more connected with the element of sound than anything else. And because of this, you notice that you're having a heightened importance on words around you. Yes, actions speak louder than words, but you may be realizing right now that you have needed or do now need to hear those words. Just because you know and just because someone does something does not mean that they are owning up to that. Here we see the connection between the throat chakra and the ears. Here we see something that is tapping in with the water element, tapping in with also the ocean, tapping in with sound healing, vibrational healing, the ability to affect how a plant grows by speaking kindly and nourishingly to it. Here, 
we have an opportunity for you to tap in with those emotions and solidify it into the ground. So speak to the universe, what it is you desire. And instead of being led down the path towards what you desire, towards what you're meant to, towards your highest vibrational timeline or reality, if you will, trust that Sirius has been guiding you the entire time. There's no need to be guarded, although it makes sense why you have been in the past. Because you've gone through a long, a long period of being misunderstood, but acting as though you knew that they would catch up anyway. They being you, you being they. But you're aware of this, which is also how you knew. Because of this, continue to keep your heart open, as you always have and always will. But continue to know also that your emotional elements are more highlighted at this time. Not because you are feeling more deeply, but rather because the purity of you, the clarity of you, the sincerity of you, the genuinity of you. It was so easy for this to be misunderstood when this is not what you see externally, but now you're tapping in with the ears and you're finally being not only heard, but listened to. Because of this, the things that you express, the things that you have expressed, they're being gone over once more by the other versions of you that exist in the universe. You're being understood, finally, differently, no longer open to interpretation because you said what you meant and you meant what you said. And you stood on it. You feel truth. You act through truth. You embody truth. Because of this, the way that others respond and react to truth is all the information that you need. Now, Expect to be hearing differently than you have in the past. Allow yourself to tap in with whale elders. Tap in with orcas, tap in with blue whales, tap in with fin whales, tap in with dolphin collective. And Sirius does want you to know that the building blocks of nature, these easily malleable particles that can be affected so simply by sound, by wave, by light, because your vibration has been the effect door and not the effect D. It is now time for you to state your intention one last time, once and for all. Just as, just as you are being called to say this out loud, it does not matter who hears and who does not because it is no longer open to interpretation. There's been a shift in consciousness and you are ready to be understood you are no longer guarded towards the misunderstanding of others, and others are now at a place where they are conceptually and consciously ready, willing, and able to understand you for the first time. When these things come to light, when you are seen differently, when you're understood differently, when you're treated differently, when you notice this grand shift, although nothing changed within you, trust that it is the work of the job well done that you have already done, because you did follow your intuition because you did listen to the calling, because you did know what it was that was meant for you. You did follow the natural flow of things. You did put your own comfort aside, your own emotions aside, and you still embodied them thoroughly and fully, fearlessly, every step of the way. Because you've chosen to remain clear in a world of illusion, when the illusion gets sifted out of the collective, when the illusion gets sifted out of the surroundings. When one sees through clear glass, clear glasses, clear telescope at something that is clear, they realize that it was only the telescope that needed adjusting. It was not what they were looking at that was not able to be understood. You are going to be observed and witnessed differently. You're going to be approached differently. You see now that as energies are ready for the truth, your truth, clarity, love, light, gratitude, connection. You will continue to maneuver outside of time, space, matrix, energies. And as this is the case, it's important that you continually remind yourself that this is where you have been all along. And that this time, the shift was not internally, but externally. And that's also why you needed to wait so long. Continue to wear your heart on your sleeve Continue to be transparent as you always have and trust that as now the T's are crossed and the I's are dotted, they're no longer seen as L's. 
And with that being the case, it is now time for you to use your vocal cords, use your mouth, use your words to say what it is that you wish or desire. It will be granted and it will not be something that requires you to step down a different path. It will not be something that requires you to act differently, move differently, listen to your intuition, be called in a certain direction. It is only something that you must ask and then you will receive. The universe knows what is in your heart. You know what is in your heart and you wear your heart on your sleeve transparently. But because you needed to speak in a way that allowed you to be misunderstood while staying transparent. And the misunderstanding is drifting out of the collective consciousness as it ascends. You are now free to speak this truth because it cannot and will not be misunderstood. Therefore, it will be delivered to you as thanks, gratitude from the universe for waiting, for listening, for being misunderstood, for taking L's when in reality you were the one crossing the T's and dotting the I's. Sirius would like to thank you. He would like to let you know that you are guided and they want to let you know that you can write down what you'd like, you can meditate on what you'd like, you can visualize what you'd like, but the moment that you speak it into existence nearly once is the moment that you'll notice the shift Okay, group number one, that is your channeled message from Sirius. I hope this helps shed love, light, and clarity on your situation. And as always, I'm sending you all my love, light, and gratitude. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, week, month, year, and incarnation in this beautiful, magical realm. I'll see you next time. Namaste. Hi there, group two. Namaste, and welcome to your reading. Today, I'm channeling a message to you from Sirius, and you selected the second group with the Feet on the Earth card. Group number two, your message specifically comes from Sirius as an entire collective. You may be wondering, Sirius A, Sirius B, where else in the collective consciousness? And this is the entire system, the entire collective coming to you today. You remember and or are aware of parts of Sirius that nobody else in the conscious human collective has currently awakened to yet or remembered. There is a specific and special fractile part of your soul that has very strong memories from this place and it is not very common for these energies to reincarnate bringing parts of these, bringing these particles, these fractal pieces into the Earth's collective. Mostly because there's not much it can do here as far as productivity, creativity, or relating too much with other beings at their current level of consciousness on the Earth collective realm because of their discernment With the feet on the earth card, you are very much aware that you are a walking anomaly. You are aware of the fact that miracles happen every day. You have seen a myriad of them because it is the only thing that exists. However, regardless of what type of miraculous situation you are around, you always still seem to be the one that stands out. Perhaps the one that is seen as special the one that is seen as lucky, the one that is seen as talented, the one that is seen as having all the answers. This is a beautiful perspective to be seen through. However, it is a lonely journey to walk. Sirius would like to welcome you home and they would like to remind you that as long as you are on this earth, you always have the capacity to go home. In fact, you've never really left. You are looking around for energies that simply cannot be found in this realm, 
Not because they cannot be created or seeded or channeled or brought here, but this all would inevitably need to be done by you, through you. When in reality, what you seek is recognition of this energy outside of yourself. So do take it easy on yourself. Your presence here creates inevitable and in numerous changes. Also, there will always be work for you to do when you try to find what it is that you know exists but cannot find here. Well, someone has to do it, you may be thinking, and this could not be further from the truth. You have permission, as I'm sure you know, to exist in this realm and allow yourself to know who you are and express comfortably what you feel will allow you to pretend to fit in for a little bit. Always be authentic, always be yourself, and do not, do not be so conscious and awakened Well, do be conscious, but do not, do not dilute yourself so much so that you are not expressing your own levels of consciousness. You may feel as though you are alone and misunderstood, and both of these things have been true for a very long time. The reason that Sirius has connected with you in this message today is because they want to remind you that you are a collection of particles of consciousness. The Sirius particle, the Sirius fractile. You can connect with Sirius to find energies that understand you. The Earth fractile, you can connect with them to find pieces of consciousness that understand you with any other realm and any other collective, that specific pattern of particles that put together your own unique being in their own unique order from their own unique collections of places, realms, energies, consciousness. This is why, regardless of who you are or where you are, you are one of a kind. One may have an entire soul journey where they remember sharing consciousness collectives with other pieces of fractal consciousness, people here, collectives elsewhere, but they will always still have their own unique order and pattern. Because of this, the perspective will always be different, and this is part of the gift. However, your unique and innate pattern here, group number two, is by far one of a kind. Because of this, no matter where you go, no matter what group you belong to, you will always be the odd one out. And this is not because it's an isolating experience. It is because this is a royal experience. This energy may be uncomfortable depending on the conditioning of those around you and where you are in your life. For to you, these energies are normal. It is least normal for you to be here. It is least normal for you to be experiencing abnormality in energies that you have been used to for several incarnations. You are aware of what's out there. You know truths about Sirius that cannot be found here. You have memories about Sirius that others have not yet accessed, and you are very well aware of the false truths, the projections, and the speculations that go around even in the starseed community. While all effort is good effort, you do not need to wait for others to catch up. You do not need to change your consciousness or dilute your expression, in order for you to be the piece of the puzzle that you are meant to be. Yes, you stand out. 
Yes, you are different. Yes, this is intentional. No, everything is not your job. You do not need to be bite-sized. You do not need to translate. You do not need to explain. And you do not need to teach those who want, those who take, those who need. Because inevitably, they have what they want, they take what they take, and they have what they need. Just as you've learned, your energy is not only highly favorable, but highly sought after. Because of this, everyone will want a piece of the pie. Everyone will want to be around. Everyone will want to understand. And some will try so hard to pick up every single detail that they do not understand so that they can make something up that they could pretend to understand and project that upon you. You've seen this time and time again. This is not your job. This is not an isolating incarnation for you, although sometimes you may disagree. And you will soon find that although there is a reason that you've chosen to be here, that has nothing to do with only giving to others. What you need, what you require to feel free in your own consciousness, to be able to act and behave through your own levels of consciousness is something that is not easy always in this human realm. But you need the freedom. You need to be able to behave to your level of consciousness. And some of these tools don't exist, so you create them. Some of these energies have not been brought here before, but for you, they're completely normal. So continue to focus on yourself. Sirius is aware that you utilize certain tools, certain energies, certain frequencies, that are not found naturally in this realm. And because of this, you seem to have access to energies that are outside of this human collective. And this is normal. This is very normal. But to have access to this and walk through this space as a conscious human being is not very normal. There has to be a first for everything. Messages, please, to group number two from Sirius. Just continue focusing on your own self-fulfillment, your own happiness. You know what this is. You know what energies these are, what they feel like. Trying to seek the ways that they have incarnated or manifested in this earth realm is not going to be able to fulfill you all of the way. Because first and foremost, as you know, nothing outside of yourself can truly fulfill you. And simultaneously, your energy is way more evolved than the highest vibrational resources that you're going to be able to find here. Be your own resource and do not feel the need to be a resource for others. You know that you are unique and that does not make it your, it does not make other people inevitably have a right to you. Sirius would like for you to know that you are well aware of the journey that you are on. And you are also well aware of the fact that you've already begun something new. You've already opened a new chapter. You've already had a new beginning in this incarnation cycle. And where you're going to be is far from somewhere you haven't been before. However, this energy coexisting here is something that has not existed before. So when you are looked at funnily, when you are spoken to oddly, when others project onto you and your dreams share the truth, when you already know exactly what is going on because you've done it time and time and time again, you are merely wearing a different shirt this time. You're merely wearing a different suit this time, the human one. Allow yourself to walk in stride with that truth and do be aware that the more that you allow yourself to be seen as the miracle one, the odd one out, the one that has all the answers for some reason, the more, as you know, this will 
create ease in these energies for you. Pay, pay no mind to the energies that have selected not to evolve in their current incarnation cycle. For as you know, there is ancient history happening right now. And there is very futuristic energy also happening right now. You know that time is an illusion. And we would like to remind you that past just means low vibration and high or future just means high vibration. And again, high and low are relative. Less, the least evolved is still omnipresent and the most evolved is still omnipresent. You notice that you have been doing a lot of humanitarian work. You notice that you've been creating a lot of change in the realm and it's beautiful. You're able to physically see the results of the work that you have done by yourself. However, you are no longer on this path. You are still behaving in your sovereign ways, but continue to do what you normally do merely wearing the suit of a human. Sirius wants you to know that you are always supported, you are always guided, and that you can always come home. Your foundation runs a lot deeper than many realize. And once more, it does not matter what people realize. That pettiness is not what you are here to deal with. There are many beautiful beings who are here to do this, and you are not one. Let yourself be different. Let yourself express fully. Mind not the capacity of others. You are in a snow globe that is still being shaken. But you still have the ability to be your own compass. You still know that you're floating in space. So don't get caught up in the confusion of others. Don't entertain it for fun or to fit in. Merely be yourself as you always have and always will. This incarnation is a bit of a business trip for you you will get to enjoy connection and beauty and fun, but not at the expense of diluting your truth. Because the lowest vibration you're able to express is still beyond the highest vibration that is currently fathomable for the consciousness of this realm. Continue to follow your path. Allow yourself to be seen as different and continue to put one foot in front of the other. This realm is like a giant box of Legos. But at a certain point, it will also be outgrown not by everyone and that's okay and natural too but there's no need for you to be walking around a playroom stepping on legos when they're not even your own legos to play with <sighs> okay group number two that is your channeled message from sirius as always, I hope this helps shed love, light, and clarity on your situation, and I hope that you have an amazing and beautiful rest of your day, week, month, year, and incarnation in this beautiful and magical realm. If you'd like a personal reading or Reiki session from me, you can find that on my Etsy shop below in the description box. And I'm so grateful that you're here. I will see you next time, and namaste. Hi there, group three. Namaste, and welcome to your reading. Thank you so very much for being here. Today, I'm channeling a message to you from Sirius. And you selected the third group with Finder of Lost Things. Group number three. Sirius is aware that 
you have been seeking clarity, perhaps a particular collective, perhaps a safe space for something, a right timing for something to occur. And Sirius wants you to know that the answer lies within their collective. Perhaps some of you have a memory and don't know where to place it. And it is important for you to remember that you have found something or you have experienced something that is seemingly an anomaly or you feel as though you could potentially be outcast or judged for sharing this energy, sharing your truth, sharing your story, or at the very least, Sirius wants you to know that you have found what you're looking for through their collective, or you will by exploring their collective. They would like to, they would like you to keep in mind that there are several different groups within the Sirius Collective. There is the Collective as a whole, and there are different subgroups within the Collective of Sirius as well. So, if you feel as though Sirius resonates with the energy that you seek, but what you have heard or what you see does not exactly align with what you are looking for, it may be because there is a different subgroup of Sirius that resonates with the vibration that you seek. With that said, they would like me to move into the tarot for this one a little bit earlier than the other groups with the Finder of Lost Things card. You are now permitted to put down what it is that you've been carrying and to know that you have found what it is that you've been seeking. Something is no longer lost something has been remembered and or it is going to be important that you allow yourself to embody your story even though you may not always be able to express it messages please to group number three from Sirius okay we have a court card of cups that made a gentle appearance not too much connotation what it was just an emphasis on the heart space the emotional body the astral body at this time and we see a little bit of processing as this energy gets dispersed into the higher vibrational spiritual energies beyond the emotional and subtle energy body into the knowledge body tactical wisdom understanding that comes from these experiences and then into of course wisdom and your actual soul. So, there is a lot of clarity that you seek, and we're here to present this to you. There is a particular memory that is coming up for you at this point in time, and you are not the only one who shares this memory, who has had this experience, or you are not alone when this happened. There is a reason for a separate spiritual awakening on this journey, or here, because the commonality of the truth, the journey back towards the center, towards the acceptance, towards the understanding, looked or looks differently. This is an opportunity for you to find kinship with someone who shares this memory, someone who understands this, someone who is here, or someone who shares that same truth. With this being the case, Sirius wants you to know that everything has happened in divine order, and you know this tactically. But they want you to look at this memory and see what details you can pull. Now that you accept this memory, now that you see it as truth, now that you, it no longer hurts, or now that it is no longer confusing, or something like this, this can be something where you have a memory and then you dream about it, so you think it's only a dream. It can be something where there's a memory, but there's maybe a wound attached, so you look at it and you feel the wound. Now that this energy has dispersed, okay, this can be something where... You may now look at this and see details that you didn't pick up on before. If you were not alone, what color shirt was somebody wearing? If you were in a room, what kind of objects were in the room? If you remember the energetic imprint of your emotions, what was the thought that was running through your mind? What were you telling yourself to remember, not to remember, to look at, not to look at? What did you not realize that you noticed? Take a look at your memory recall, because there is important information here that has been absorbed by you, but is ready to be brought to the forefront at this point in time. 
Sirius wants you to know that they are around you at all times. And they also want you to be aware of some of the things that you have said in the past that may or may not give some of this information away that you seek when you look back. For some of you, you're being called to look through your old drawings, your old journals, your old channeled messages. For some of you, you're being called to look at old fairy tales that you've written, or perhaps old things that you have imagined, dream journals, things like this. Not all of them, but you're being called to look at some things that you, you have created or you have channeled that may be a bit more literal than you at first were giving yourself credit for on your way to the acceptance of your truth of this experience. You are very well aware of how strongly guided you are and of how deep your spiritual connection to all that is goes, not simply because you exist, but also because of the work that you've done. And it is important not to lose sight of one in favor of the other. They wanted to bring this reminder for you through today. Group number three, you are experiencing the foundation the foundational shift behind a spiritual awakening that you've had a very long time ago. This is, in a lot of ways, repeating a pattern or cycle, and not in a way that would cause you to need to learn something, but in a way where you go back to this memory and you realize what was written on that piece of paper that was on the table that you were not looking at because you were busy dealing with the situation. Things like this. Remote viewing your memory or just tapping in with it. Some of you have a photographic memory or something similar to this. Don't be surprised when you find that you're able to recall every single thing that perhaps you didn't even know the human brain was capable of. Many are told what is possible with the human brain in order to keep them conditioned and minimally functioning. Although spirituality, science, and ancient cultures have all disproven this using math and science and also experience. A lot of these self-limiting conditioning beliefs are very, very new. Do not be surprised when the answers that you've sought all along have been common knowledge for most of Earth's history, let alone most of the universe's infinite history and memory. You have access to the universal memory. This does lie beyond the Akashic Records. Those of you who experience this understand, and those of you who are not quite picturing that idea, you will be understanding this very soon. Sirius wants you to know that you are being given you are being given authority or the positioning or the direction or permission. All of those words are vibrationally aligned, but none of them are quite the precise word. Okay? I think that it doesn't it's not in my library or coming to the front of my mind, so take those with a grain of salt and find the energy in between. So I'll say you are being guided or called to reapproach this energy of this truth, of this memory, of this foundation, and understand how this was not the first or the last time you've had this experience. A big reasoning for this is because, again, as it was not the first, it is also not the last time you will be experiencing this. This energy is something that you are being guided to call upon, as you did before. Although at this time, it had been subconscious, spiritual, energetic. Now you know. Now you are aware. Allow yourself to continue laying the groundwork for full embodiment of your energy. And trust that if you feel called to explore other realms at this time, or to sleep more, or to meditate more, or to visualize and fantasize more... There is a reason for this. There is childlike wonder, and then there is universal memory. The line between them is very, very soft. It is existent, 
But there is also a reason, again, why very recently the collective has been conditioned against tapping in with this energy because the bridge between the two is so very subtle. Continue to explore the energies, not just of your heart, not just of your astral body, but of your actual energy. Not just within, not just without, but that vibrational merging of the two in between. Not just your chakras, not just your aura, but the vibrational merging of the two in between. Remind yourself, your chakras are the fourth layer of your aura. And so whether you look internally or externally, they are the fourth layer of you. Just like your skin has many different layers and it's not always what we see, not always what we're taught when we initially dive right into the beginner level. Understand that there are layers more deeply internally and externally that you have access to that you remember that you're being called to tap back into for the first time in a while, but not the last time. There is a message that has been left for you in this memory that you made sure to collect during this experience. You will be given opportunities to express these experiences. Although, do not look forward to this happening quickly or all at once. You are aware of what it is that you seek vibrationally, and you are aware what does not match it. You are also directly aware of what does. Just as you can look inward or outward, and you can find that energy of emergence in between, you notice the same thing mirrored back to you. You are not meant to be a reflection of any environment. No one is, but many are not ready for that. And as you continue to evolve and your DNA continues to upgrade itself, it will become more and more clear why you have chosen to be many places at once and why you have chosen only very precise energies that attune and align with you to meet you here and now. This is all part of the plan and it's all part of your plan. Dive back into this memory or experience for more and trust that Sirius has, Sirius does not have the answers that you seek. Sirius is the answer that you seek. And keep an eye out for those subgroups as well, those smaller collectives within the larger collective. Just as Gaia is a collective, there is the human collective. There are micro collectives within that collective. There's the collective of trees and different types of trees, of animals, of plants, of every energy. There's also the collective of Gaia. There's the collective of the universal consciousness and so on and so forth. So tap in with these subgroups of Sirius for something precise that you seek, but trust that Sirius hits the nail on the head. Find those messages that you left for yourself. It is time now for you to move forward with something. And this is what you've been waiting for. Okay, group number three, that was your channeled message from Sirius. I hope this helps shed love, light, and clarity on your situation. And as always, I'm sending you all my love, light, and gratitude. I hope you have an amazing and beautiful rest of your day, week, month, year, and incarnation in this beautiful, magical realm. And I will see you next time. If you're interested in a personal reading or Reiki session from me, you can find that on my Etsy shop below in the description box, as well as my Follow Your Heart Oracle deck, my Light Codes Oracle, the books that I've written, and crystals that come directly from me to you, where I charge them with energy and lots of little magic. <laughs> anyway, 
Thank you for being here. I love you with my whole heart and I will see you next time. Namaste.